Hey, welcome back to This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And in the previous video, I showed you the J-Pole antenna that I got from KB9VBR. He sells these on eBay. You can uh, look at his eBay uh, page by just searching for KB9VBR. And I showed you the setup I have. I stuck it on a like an 8-foot pole on my side yard. So it doesn't clear my house, but my house is west of the antenna, which is towards the Gulf of Mexico, and there's no antennas out there, so that shouldn't be a problem. And I'm using the coax cable that came with my MFJ 31-foot vertical antenna. It has a B and C uh, connector on this end, so I have to use a couple of adapters to bring it into my analyzer. So we're going to see what the SWR is on this antenna. So let me zoom in as best I can. So the furthest I can go. Now hold up the analyzer and maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. Okay, now we're going to select uh, sweep frequency plot. And then we're going to check SWR. Okay, it's now running. And there's the plot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like there's nothing there. First time I did this, I'm like, my analyzer's not working. That's because the SDWR is down in the mud, which is where you want it. I think right now I'm at um, 140, 148 megahertz, and the SWR is 1.63. And then I can adjust the frequency. And let's go to 145. Or approximately 145. Okay, there's 144.99999. And the SWR is 1.43. Excellent. Excellent SWR. So, as far as the SWR, this antenna is tuned properly. Now, my analyzer will only go up to 230 megahertz. So, I can't check the SWR at 70 centimeters. So, can't do that. So, now we're going to turn this off. Because we thing shows excellent SWR. We're going to disconnect it. And then we've got to take this along, this adapter along with it. And then I've got kind of a kludge here to get it to connect to. You know, it, you never have enough adapters. And you never have the right one. So what I've done is I've used two of my adapters from my software-defined radios. And so I have to go through two adapters to get the right connection to this antenna. So I'm going to put this up. So it's not perfect by any means. And if I was going to use this as a permanent setup, then I would have the proper adapter so I can eliminate some of this cabling and all these connections. And I've got connection, 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 and connection. You know, a lot of connections. So we got the radio now. Uh, this is my Bofang radio. And we got it tuned to 146.97, which is one of the local repeaters. Uh, that repeater is about 10 miles from me. So normally, with the built-in rubber ducky antenna, I can't even begin to hit that repeater. So we're going to see what that J-Pole does for me. So here we go. KE4 GSK testing. Yep, see I hit the repeater. That, that sound you heard was the feedback from the repeater that indicates you've hit the repeater. And about 20 minutes ago, when I did that test, somebody came back. We talked for about five minutes. He told me exactly where the antenna was um, at the repeater. And um, it's working great. That's on uh, two meters. Now, let me try another one. I've got it written down here what channel number is. I think it's channel number 36. So let's go down to 36. 7, 3, 7, 1, 7, 6, 8. 36. I've got like 100 channels programmed in this. Oops, I want one too many. 3, 6. Okay, 3, 6. That is the repeater at where I used to work, which is Honeywell, we have an amateur radio club and we have a repeater up on a um, up on top of a building. 
it's running on the 70 centimeter band and it's uh, 12 miles in line of sight from me 12 miles okay let's see if i can hit it ke4 gsk testing welcome to the h-e-a-r-t machine W-D-0-D-I-A repeater. Good morning. <laughs> I love the way we've, we've set that up so it gives you some indications of what your repeater you're on. Um, and it only does that on the initial contact. So that's 11, 12 miles from me. I, like I say, I'm downstairs in my workshop with this external antenna and all these kludge cables. Normally, upstairs, in the window that faces this repeater's um, antenna, and the rubber duck antenna, I can just barely make that repeater. Now I'm not having any problems whatsoever. The antenna is working great. Shh, let me hush this thing down before it starts squawking on me. Um, so, Michael, I, I think he, you've got some good antennas here. So, if you're interested in one of these antennas, contact Mike on eBay. Again, KB9VBR is his name on eBay. And I think this, this particular one, I think, sells for around $35. That's it. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. And have a great day. Bye-bye.